I'm Sabrina Mandel, artistic co-director and visionary tornado of Happenstance Theatre. And I'm Mark Jaster, the other artistic co-director and uh, the, what do we call me? Structure, Structure and, and ground. ground of the company. We started in 2006. I had already established the idea of wanting to do a theater company. And I had been performing solo mostly for years, doing solo, solo mime and clown material. And this is the makeup for Pino. So then we got together and we realized we had an incredible creative connection in addition to falling in love. So we just crazy. opened our first, got married, opened our first show. On the Capitol Fringe Festival. At the Fringe Festival. And since then we've gathered a company of uh, four other like-minded creative individuals. In and 2012, yeah. we sort of established as the full ensemble of six. Uh, we tend to go nostalgic. We look, we look, tend to look retro. We sort of cherry pick elements from the past and uh, reassemble them in a contemporary setting. We don't deal with the things that kind of separate us as humans, but yeah. instead the things that make us, you know, all human. Yeah, <laughs> like, we, set, we tend like to go for death. the death. But the way we build material is that we start with a, a sort of a, a theme. I think in this context is the circus show that talked about what are the things when we think of circus, what do we think of? You know, we think of the animals, and we think of the, we think of the, the acrobatics, and we think of the clowns. The, think about is the offstage world, is the life of being in a circus done by... All of us without trapezes and without tight wires and without... I, I played all the animals, for example. There's a kind of communal, cooperative, collaborative ethos underneath the work that we're... that ends up on the stage that I think also kind of transmits across the footlights. Theatrical Clown is very much about taking all of the idiosyncratic things about yourself and exploding them big. This is a little dainty nose. Sometimes I do have bigger noses. <laughs> it also is about making yourself completely vulnerable and accessible so that the audience can do it sort of vicariously through us. In comedy in general, there's no fourth wall. We really communicate directly with the people. We're gonna take a cheap look. There's no fourth Direct. wall. Direct. Back to the interview. You send something out, it lands on the audience. You wait for you it wait, to process. And then it comes back to you. We are listening with every molecule in our bodies to what the landed. audience yeah. is giving us. Something that sort of stands out for our company is that because it's the six of us doing almost everything, um, there's a, a kind of an organic quality to the stuff that gets made. The objects that we deal with on stage they have a history with us. In a way, we're part of that that tradition. Kind of, yeah, that tradition of, of the performer created material. Theater. They that make play. Up whole it's connected to play. Play Playing. is the word. You know, it's called a play. And we play. And we play in our process. And we, when we're making stuff, there's a very playful tone in the rehearsal room. So, in a way, we are doing what we did as children from the moment you're born. It's, you're on your way <laughs> to the end, so you want to, you know, play while you can. To me, theater is, uh, the essence of theater is the, the moment when an audience and a performer meet. And the circus takes that uh, to, uh, it essentializes, to use that word again, that, that relationship of audience and performer. The performer's going to do something for us, and we are going to witness it, and it's going to be it's gonna be filled with wonder. Just the idea of being able to bring something so magical, exotic, immense to the people, um, it's, it's kind yeah. of the most amazing thing there is.